and welcome to Elijah Joe Special. In this quick video, we're just going to go right into it because I don't want it to be long. So we're going to be producing contour using Surfer. And this software I'm using is version 25. Now there are a little slight change in this software. So I'm just going to highlight them for you and I also do the things from the previous software. Alright, so to create contour on software, your file has to be whereas your Excel file has to be in this format. I'm opening up now, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Alright, so you you don't have to have or you don't need uh the uh header like um header like uh eastern northern that is level and height so you just need to cover from one that's how sofa takes it so it's going to it's just going to be column one column column a b and c on sofa and then you save it as csv which is what i have saved that csv so when that is done we hit right to sofa all right so on this letter sofa if you click on grid Normally, if you click on grid, it's going to display options where you click this grid uh, data. But this, it has changed a little bit. So the next change that we have here is that this also will just give you the creaking. That is, give you all the interpolation techniques, which is what is supposed to be after we've created the grid. So it means this will also create contour for you automatically without you having to go and bring uh, the grid data again. All right. So... I'm going to go with the grid uh, cubing. Then we have the X, Y, Z and the X, Y, Z, C. So I only have three uh, dimensions now. So I'm just going to go with the control here. I'm going to click on open that. And then we see that the column A, B and C has been set. So I'm going to hit next. And then this next is going to talk about the variable and that is going to just explain some statistical stuff so about the whole data and all that. So if I hit next again, it's going to tell me some other options like Make a, ch make a change some parameters but basically i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go with the default then here is thing about the cross validation like on you know those who service statistics now when i suppose do this all right so basically this will show you some little bit of statistical um steps like that but let's go we're just going to go to the default and then we hit on finished all right so i've created something before so it's just going to replace it all right so it's creating the um it's creating both the grid, gridding data and also the contour. All right, so, um, so contour has been created. So I'm just going to export this. And I'm going to say, yes, it's still going to say, that's the uh, grid report. All right, so it has created the contour. Now, let's assume you have the gridding from maybe a lower version and just want to create contour here. What do you do? Is it that it does no longer do that? It still does that. Uh, so I'm just going to let me make some editing on the generals here and on the levels here. You could change the contour interval and all that. So the contour interval here currently is five. So let me see one. You will see how it's going to react. So you see. So um, basically, you will now make changes here. Let's leave it at two. And until you see all of those things, so uh, that is that for that. So uh, I want to create the contour. All right, so I just want to create the contour. So I'm really going to come to this grid here, and uh, yeah, so I'm just to come to that grid, and then uh, all right. So once I click on that grid and I come back to plot, I'm going to see contour. Now I'm going to click on this counter and I'm going to click on the grid report and then I'm going to OK. So you're going to see that we're going to create the same counter. So this is the um, little changes I've seen so far on this uh, latest version. So um, so this is how you can create counter on this latest version of Sofa in case you are already conversant with, um, with how the contour has been produced over time with the lower version. There are a little bit of tweak in it. So yeah, basically, you, you should be able to get it by now. So that's why this video is for you. So don't forget to share this video, like, subscribe, comment, and tell us what you feel about it. So we appreciate all of that. And I'm going to show you another video real quick on how to export this into an S3 shape file format. 
in the next video coming right now. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned. Elijah Special.